addiction impacts every community around the world, with alcohol alone impacting over 63 million people. Zambia is one of the African countries with the highest alcohol consumption, in addition to other substances. The Minister of Health and the Minister of Education, as well as Drug Enforcement Commission, are currently undertaking the substance prevention activities in school settings and youth health spaces. We see substance use in many children living on the streets. Traffic centers are a resource for children who are not in a school setting, who are not receiving the prevention education, and these children might not be literate. They provide basic care, education, and mentoring. Care specifically related to drug use is not common. Stigma is a problem. We needed a way to bring substance use treatment into the community in an accessible way. Out of this need, the literacy-free 12-step expressive arts therapy curriculum was written. We began field testing three years before this current study. It is an evidence-based group curriculum incorporating cognitive behavioral and rational emotive behavioral therapy to explore the 12 steps of addiction recovery through Zambian art forms. We discuss relapse triggers, coping skills, defense mechanisms, and the effects of substance use forming a recovery plan. Research has established cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, and rational emotive behavior therapy, or REBT, as effective treatments for substance use of the 12-step program for peer support and motivational interviewing and treatment. While stigma, lack of decentralized services, and lack of trained mental health professionals often provide external barriers, clients may also experience internal barriers, such as lack of motivation to change or limited participation in treatment. Using familiar Zambian art forms makes treatment engaging and makes it easier to share in groups. The curriculum doesn't require literacy or direct disclosure to participate if the client isn't ready. Arts become a therapeutic vehicle to internalize concepts. Whether drumming, dancing, painting, or expressive storytelling around the fire at night, arts are a part of who we are what motivates us and how we share. That is something that made this curriculum feel very natural as a feasible therapeutic intervention. After field testing was completed in Zambia and a published study of the US version, we embarked on the current study. We plan for Zambian-led organizations to be freely trained and given resources so that they can offer it in their own communities and share client progress. At this time, the Minister of Health had developed and launched the national alcohol policy with a sole purpose to address and provide substance treatment by the establishment of the de addiction unit at Shianami Hospital, which is the sole mental health unit of the country. In losing this training and material fit with the need we were seeing. For part one of the study, we trained 100 professionals representing 41 different organizations from all across Zambia. Results found the perspectives regarding value of offering treatment improved significantly. Views of substance users themselves did not change. For part two of the study, trained organizations delivered the curriculum as substance use intervention in their organization. Organizational questionnaires assessed whether organizations experienced the curriculum as feasible and as beneficial. Client questionnaires measured pre-post substance use frequency, participation, and motivation to change. We received data for 200 clients. Results showed that frequency of alcohol, marijuana, inhalant, cigarette use decreased. Motivation to change, open sharing, increased. Organizations found the curriculum to be beneficial and to be feasible. We encourage future research addressing the study's limitations, which are lack of a control group, lack of representation of opiate and cocaine users, use of single item measures, and no long-term follow-up. A strength of the study in our context is it's in an easy to follow menu specific to Zambian art forms and substances. Reliable treatment can be readily delivered and widespread by the newly trained increasing access to those who need it. This makes it easier to engage clients and help them find their motivation to change and believe that they can. These groups may also help them feel comfortable to share and realize that they're not alone and that way fight stigma. Substance use treatment such as this curriculum, evidence-based and community-owned is a promising development. As the African parable says, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together.